Good morning students and parents. Welcome to Standard 1 English Grammar Class. Today we are going to deal with Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 from the Grammar Roots book. Moving on to our first topic, Chapter 3. Write the names. Name of fruits. Which fruit is this? This is an apple. So here we will write an apple. This one, a banana. Names of animals. Which animal is this? A lion. Very good. This one, a monkey. Name of flowers. Which flower is this? A lotus. Which flower is this? Sunflower. Names of important people. Who is she? A teacher. Who is he? A doctor. Like this you will fill in your grammar roots book. Now moving on to our next topic, chapter 4, nouns. Children, who is he? Yes, he is Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Here Mahindra Singh Dhoni is name of a person. Where are they? They are in a park. So here park is a place. Which animal is this? This is monkey. So monkey is animal. What is this children? This is a car. So your car is a thing. So name of a person, place, animal or thing is known as a noun. So you will write noun. What a noun? Noun is a name of any person, place, animal or thing. Now nouns can be classified into proper noun, common noun, collective noun and abstract noun. Now we are going to see the definition of these nouns one by one. First, proper noun. A proper noun is a name given to a particular person, place, animal or thing. So this is a particular name given to a person, place, animal or thing. For example, Taj Mahal, Mahatma Gandhi. Next one, common noun. A common noun is a name given in common to every person, place, animal or thing of the same class of kind. So this is common name given to a person, animal, place or thing of same class or kind, same type. For example, chair, boy. Next one, collective noun. A collective noun is a collection of things taken as a whole. For example, a swarm of bees. This is, these are groups. A bunch of keys. Next one, Abstract noun. An abstract noun refers to things which cannot be touched like feelings, qualities, etc. For example, bravery, friendship. Now we will see the exercises from the book. First one. Look at the pictures and write their names below. Now what is this? Hen. So what we will write here? Hen. 
this flower. What is this? Apple. This one? Cake. Now next question. Look at the pictures and complete the sentences. So you have to look at the pictures and then complete the sentences. First one. The hen is on the the hen is on the log. Next one. The mango is in the, the mango is in the basket. The hat is on the table. The pen is in the, the pen is in the mug. Moving on to our next exercise. Pick out the nouns in the following sentences. Number one, Agra is a city. So you have to pick out the nouns from these sentences. So what is the noun in the first sentence? Yes, Agra and city. Agra is a proper noun because it is a particular name of a place and city is a common noun. Here we will write Agra, city. Next one, that house is big. Which is noun in the sentence? House. It is a common noun. Next one. Number three. Honesty is the best policy. So pick out the noun from this sentence. Yes, honesty. This is abstract noun as it is a quality. Next one. Ria gave me a bouquet of flowers. So Ria is a proper noun. Bouquet, collective noun because it is group of flowers. So it is collective noun and flowers, common noun. So we will write Ria, comma, bouquet, comma. Class. Next, the baby is on the bed. Baby, baby is common noun and bed, it is also a common noun. Next one, this mango is sweet. So which is the noun in the sentence? Mango. Which noun is it? Common noun. Now moving on to our next topic. Who are they? Children, here a few sentences are given. You have to read these sentences carefully and tell that who they are. First one. The person who grows crops. Who grows crops? Farmer. Very good. Next one. A person who cuts our hair. Who cuts our hair? Barber. Next one. The person who looks after the sick. Who looks after the sick? Nurse. Next one. The person who mends shoes. Who mends our shoes? Cobbler.
the person who catches thieves who catches thieves policeman the person who brings us milk who brings us milk milkman children i hope you have understood all these topics the worksheets and the book exercises related to these topics will be uploaded on a school website kindly go through them and practice thank you and have a nice day